orphan girl. He wasn't helping me. But as an Israelite, he felt it his duty to help me. I lived with that family. I went to church with them. I even sang in a choir. And one day, when I came back from church on a Sunday, there was a neighbor visiting. She took one look at me, and she said, you are a hiker. A hiker is a name for a Jewish girl. I said, don't be silly. And I walked out through the back door, and I never came back. I went to the director of the candy factory, and I told him about it. He said to me, you sleep in a factory. The city is no place for you, and I will try to find a place for you on a farm or a Protestant family and make a passport for you. Well, I still had my father's gold pocket watch. I gave it to him. He sold it. He gave me back the rest of the money. That's all I had to do is take a picture. That was the worst thing for me because I have very natural curly hair. And only Jewish people had natural curly hair. There were no permanents then. I always wore a kerchief. And you had to show your left ear in the picture for some strange reason. I stayed up all night, pulled my hair, straightened it, made pigtails, and went to take a picture. Then the director of the candy factory had a friend in a village, and he told him about me. He came to see for himself that I don't look too Jewish and took me to his village. I was registered there because I had papers. And my name there was Andulka Mazanek. I had many names in those years. I was liberated there February 2nd, 1944. I thought I was the only Jewish person left in the whole world. My brother tracked me down. My sister tracked me down. There were three of us then. And when the war was over, the Russians allowed the Polish citizens go to Poland legally. Then from Poland, we went to Austria illegally. In Poland, in Austria, I met my husband, who was a concentration camp survivor, a survivor of seven concentration camps. And he was the only one left from his family. There were seven children, and he was the oldest. Fell in love and got married. We have two devoted sons, two lovely daughter-in-laws, and like any grandmother would say, for gorgeous grandchildren. We came to the United States February 2nd, 1949. Looking back on my teen years, I have often wondered how we managed to emerge from the Nazi hell with our sanity intact. The world was silent, and we were doomed. And whenever the so-called, the historical revisionists, the deniers, deny the Holocaust, I get very angry. How dare they? I'm still alive, and I'm a witness to this terrible part of history. And it is already being denied. It never happened. I'm very disturbed by it, and it is not debatable. Thank you.